the Java bindings are static and dynamic. Static happens at compiler time, while dynamic happens at runtime. Method overloading is an example of static binding, and method overriding is an example of dynamic binding. Let's start with the static binding by testing all five of these static overloaded methods. Static means they are shared between the whole class. As a result, static methods are bound to their implementation at compile time. The methods can be called directly by its class name. Therefore, it's not important to create an object to access the five static methods. We can write the class name overload and we see all five methods. Select double int, then write 10.0 and five next is overload dot int double and write five 15.0 third method is overload dot int int let's write five five Number four has three methods, three parameters. Overload dot, double int int, then write 20.0, 20, 10. The last method had an int return type. Overload dot. Do you see how four methods have void as their return type and one method has int. Write 50, 50, 50. Let's run. We see a print statement for each overloaded method. Java restricts static methods from being overwritten. Dynamic binding allows for overridden methods, which are multiple implementations that can be called depending on the instance. For example, let's think about the calculate GPA methods from the student and graduate classes that we did in the previous session for method overriding. We can use a separate implementation for student and graduate. However, I am going to implement one graduate and another one for undergraduate. Recall, graduate has a method to override the student method. Undergraduate does not have a method to override student. So it will use the method created in the student class. Here's the scenario with two instances. Jane is a graduate and John is an undergraduate we are going to imagine both students have seven grades and the same grades for each class. They have seven classes and the same grades for each class. The difference is John gets credit for every class, but Jane only gets credit for classes 75 and above. We have a field for minimum grade equal to 75 and a calculate GPA method. Let's create an array for grades. Int grades equal. Let's assign seven grades. 95, 100, 95, 74, 75, 89, 90. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bingo. Now our objects, student, Jane equal new graduate. Jane 
<laughs> I'm typing is not going good today. That's, I guess that's the catch of doing it live. Set grades. Pass in grades. Okay, the next student is. Oh, student is John. New undergraduate. There it is. Set the grades for John by writing John dot set grades. All right. Okay. Now we're in business. Both students have the same grades, but Jane gets credit for six of the seven grades. She does not get credit for the 74. Let's print the grade point average. Uh, sis out. Jane's graduate GPA. Jane dot calculate GPA. Mm -hmm. Sis out. John's under graduate GPA. John dot calculate GPA. There it is. Let's break this down before I run. Here's what's going to happen. When I execute dynamic binding, we'll look at the graduate instance type for Jane. Then call the override GPA for calculate method in the graduate class. For John, the instance type is undergraduate. But the undergraduate class does not have an override method to calculate the GPA. Therefore, it will use the calculate GPA from the student class. Let's run. There it is. Jane GPA is 77 while John's GPA is 88. The console shows a different GPA for Jane and John, although both students have the same grades. That's what we call dynamic binding. We are finished with polymorphism for dynamic binding, static binding, method overriding, and method overloading. In the next session, we will dive into abstraction and hopefully I type better in the next session. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium automation book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.